Welcome to the World Wide Center of Math. Today I'll be going over this week's problem of the week. For the full problem and solution transcript, there will be a link in the description of this video. So, the problem this week was, uh, if you started taking even powers of 99, you might notice that all of the numbers end in a 0 and a 1. And so, the problem was to show that if 99 is raised to an even power, that the number will always end in a 0 and a 1. And to do this, we're going to use some modular arithmetic. So we can state the following, that 99 is equivalent to negative 1 mod 100. And we're using mod 100 because our number system is base 10. So we know that whatever the number is mod 100 will be the last two numbers. All right. So, and we are going to define n as an even number. And we do this by saying n is equal to 2 times k, where k is um, an, a positive integer. So, we raise 99 to the nth power, which is equal to 99 to the 2 times kth power. And so, we just do this. So, this is equivalent to negative 1 to the 2 kth power. And then, because of exponent rules, we can do this. We can say... This is equal to negative 1 squared, and then that to the kth power, uh, which is just 1 to the kth power, and 1 to any power is always equal to 1. And this is mod 100. Uh, so we've shown it. Um, if you raise 99 to an even power, it is equivalent to 1 mod 100. And the fact that it's equivalent to 1 mod 100 means that the last number will be the 1, and the second number will be a 0. Um, and the same way, you can show that if 99 is raised to an even power, you will always end up with a 9. Or a 99, sorry. <coughs> so um, that's this week's problem of the week. For more videos like this, you can go to our playlist here. For, to subscribe to our channel, you can go and click here. To go to our website, you can click here. And if you're on a mobile device, you can click the top right-hand corner. There'll be an I there with the same links as right here. Thanks.